Hi guys, it's 11 o'clock ish, just gone actually. And I am just sitting here absolutely bored out of my mind, feeling fed up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, today hasn't been productive. I'm going correction, yes, it has been, but. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with that. <laughs> I think what I'm trying to say is I haven't actually done a great deal. Nothing interesting anyway. That little red Dell. Sitting down there. Works fine, but the Wi-Fi doesn't. The built-in Wi-Fi doesn't. It was, um... Get this. It was saying I was connected to the internet, but uh, all the web browsers I was using, Google Chrome, Internet and Firefox, kept saying there was no internet connection. So, just to double check it wasn't my um, internet hub up there, I booted the other laptop up in the bedroom and uh, that connected absolutely fine, so that answered that question. The onboard Wi-Fi has gone on that. So what I did, I'll just look on the end here. I installed this little USB Wi-Fi adapter, and that works absolutely fine. Um, but I did have to. Um, where is it? I did have to use this in order to install it because there's no CD-ROM on those mini laptops. So you have to use an external one. And this one doesn't have a bezel on the front because the original drive in this didn't read disks. <laughs> it worked, it just didn't read disks. So I had to swap it and uh, the little plastic bezel on the front of the one that was in there is completely different to the ones that would go on well, all my spares. So it still doesn't look pretty but it works. Uh, I've been tinkering with this one as well. That's got some issues to the point where I want to toss the fucking thing out of the window, but <laughs> it seems to have a PCI issue. I'm going to see if it boots up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Is this the black screen mode? Yep. That's what it does. So I'll turn it off. Turn it on. Now this should stick on the Packard Bell screen. If it doesn't, I'll be... Oh, it didn't. But that's what it's coming up with. Resource conflict, PCI on motherboard, bus 6, device 8, function 0, 0. F1 to resume, F2 to set up. F1 usually will let it boot. Sometimes it will hang on that black screen, though. But I'm guessing the is it only started with these issues when that... Um, resource conflict issue started so I'm guessing that's why it's uh, being temperamental with booting it doesn't like to it's not an animal hospital you know get your fat ass off there you numb nut go on. get you and build it for you go and sit your fat ass on it catzilla right I don't have a lot of battery left yeah, other than that, it works. I've got all the other, I've got all the drivers installed. Everything works. No Wi-Fi because again, Wi-Fi is PCI based. Wherever it's gone up there. Um, but if I plug that Wi-Fi in, I'll then get two PCI errors when I boot it up. So, there's a problem with the PCIs there, and I'm not sure what. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba -ba. That blue Toshiba does work, no audio. I did reinstall XP on that, but I can't find a damn audio driver. And my little pink Windows 7 here is currently in 
Uh, pardon me, two pieces because I'll just turn the lights back on. Um, when I first turned this on, it just hung on the Asus screen with the blue hard drive light static. It wasn't flickering, wasn't nothing, it was static. So I managed to get this front cover off. I'll be careful to reveal a hard drive. And uh, I have got to be very careful because I have broken that. So I took the hard drive out, powered it up again, and that went into the system BIOS. So there's a problem with the hard drive. The hard drive could be dead completely and it's causing it. So I'm going to wait till I find another hard drive. Um, I can just throw in this to test it because I've got a funny feeling that's the problem. Then I can boot, hopefully using an external CD drive. But I'm going to stick this back over here so I know where it is. Uh, the screws I've actually put in that Lego truck so I don't lose them. So yeah, a bit of a product, sort of a semi-productive day. I did want to just clean up this area a bit before it got too messy, but I didn't quite get to that. Anyway, I did take a trip in a couple of charity shops. Well, actually, I went in all the charity shops, so I got bored. I did find these, £3.50 for that big stack. They're used. You know, there's some been used, but... And, uh, hang on. Some of these TDK DVDs. Stack of five for 80p. <laughs> they had two more in there, which I might get Thursday. Although I have got a big old stack of DVDs up there, so I don't really need them, but if I've got some loose change and they're still there, I might get them. But I like to use these, because what I want to do eventually, all the laptops I've got that I know work, I want to get the drivers for and put on a disc. When I can get my finger lined up. That's the plan, so that's why I've sort of invested in small. I've got a little stack there. I had to... Uh, Replaced the CD drive on this as well because I fucked it. <laughs> I was getting a bit ratty with it. I've had a really off day today and I just got ratty with it. You know what you do? You, know, you just sort of slam your fist down on it because I did it right on top of this and fucked up the drive. And of course, that scored my Windows XP disk, so I had to go and burn another one of them off. In fact, I did two, so I've got a spare one. And I also found this thing in a charity shop. <laughs> Whee! £1.50 that cost me. Battery's not included. Look at that. It's the perfect round spot. And it doesn't seem to matter how far away a, a surface is, it still shines a round spot. Um, the plastic feels really cheap and chintzy on that though, but. Um, and oddly, I wasn't expecting this, but when I opened up the battery pack, I found it takes those big old D-size batteries. I thought they were actually being phased out, because there's not much these days that use those, but yeah, that does. And it's not a bad thing, because the battery should last a fair while. 17 LEDs in that head. But I actually bought it, because I thought... Well, when I'm working on desktops like that, or anything else, and I need that extra bit of light, I can just stand there like that, I can tilt the head up or whatever, hit the on button, and I've got a bit of light. <laughs> now, well, the other alternative is, when I remember where it went, I've got my head torch, which is down there. That's also pretty handy, but you know what I'm like with lights anyone that's watched me long enough know that I love lights you know and I couldn't resist that for one pound fifty I can't remember how much they cost brand new now so it must be an early LED light because it's got all those LEDs in it <laughs> modern ones would probably have just a single LED chip in the back there but yeah, I count 17. There's two rows of five, which would make ten, and then seven in the middle, so. You know what? I ain't actually that bad. 
in poor light. I was waving that around in daylight today and of course, well, lights like this are never effective in daylight. I'm doing a bad thing, because they're not meant to be. <laughs> yeah, I got myself a few trinkets while I was in the charity shops. Oh, that one. See, audio works fine. The um, Ethernet socket works fine on it. Video drivers went on there absolutely fine. It's just um, developed that issue with the PCI slots. And it only developed it here for some reason. I figured out why. It wasn't doing it when it was at Mum's. And I was playing with it over at Mum's. And that's password protected. And I booted up fine. But I get it here and I go to install Windows XP and it didn't want to know. I just start developing that issue. I don't know. Technically it works. I may just throw it in the pile of working laptops. Same as that. Um, right. Oh, battery's flashing red. Tell you what I'll do, I don't want to end the video quite yet, so I'm going to put this on charge. Would you believe me if I said I only tidied that up a few days ago? <laughs> Anywho, um... Do you know, I can't remember what I was actually doing before I turned the camera off last time. <laughs> Or what I said I was going to do. Um, not a great deal. Let's move a few things around up here. Ethernet cable, I can take out the back of that now. That go there. Push that over. And hopefully... Those discs can go in there. There we go. That'll do. Even better. Where'd that little pack go? Is that still over here? It is. There we go. <laughs> Pop the cellophane in the middle and they can sit straight on the top. Oh, I don't want to cough, I need a piss. That ain't good. Right, I think tomorrow I will have a bit of a tidy up in here before it gets too bad. Uh, yeah. I was trying to think. I don't think there's a lot else I want to do tomorrow. Uh, can't change the hard drive on that Asus mini laptop netbook because I don't have a hard drive because I've blown it away <laughs> right I don't think I've got a SATA drive for that ow freaking knee just popped right Try this one, see what this one does, I suppose. Not tonight, because I'm getting too bloody tired now. Uh, it's only a 40 gig, but... Eh. Oh my god, I need a super duper large, great big bloody thing on something like that. It's only ever going to be... It's not going to be used. <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> Tripped over those. It's not like that little laptop, or any little laptop like that is going to be used for any sort of heavy duty work and storage, so. I want to look into getting an, an a, um, internal, I nearly said video card, um, a wireless card for that. See if I can get that functioning. Um, if it's replaceable. I don't even know if it's replaceable, to be honest. Oh dear. 
Unless I can find another one cheap on eBay as spares repairs, you never know. Could swap the hard drives. That'll be a job for tomorrow. I'll gingerly replace the hard drive. Um, I'd actually rather do it with a hard drive I know works. Uh, that's an IDE hard drive, so that's out of the question. I wonder if I could just borrow it out of the advent, actually. Because I know the hard drive function, function, bleh, functions on this one, obviously, because the laptop works. So, I am... Lap, hard drive is only in there. All I've got to do is pop it out of there and pop it in there. Then that will confirm whether or not it's the hard drive. And I can... Um, source a replacement. I mean, if it still does it on, you know, if it still hangs on the Asus screen with another hard drive in there that I know works, then I know it's a problem with the actual motherboard. Which, uh, pretty much, you know, defunct the laptop. Oh, I'm a bit windy tonight, aren't I? Deary me. Oh. What the hell is Nemo? <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> He's actually sitting on the laptop bag for my little Windows 3.1 laptop there, which is on top of an old imperial set of scales. Um, from, well, I don't actually know when it's from. All I know is it's measures in pounds. Uh, which no shops do these days. That's probably why they were thrown out. The um, paper shop, which is, well, the back of it is just across the way there as well. They had a um, refurb a few years ago, and uh, they had a skip put on this car park, and I just pulled it out of the skip, and nothing is wrong with those scales. They work absolutely fine. You've got to have them on a level surface, though, otherwise they don't work. It's got some sort of sensor in it that senses it's not level, and there is a level, one of those sort of like a spirit level bubble on there, so you can get it level, and you can adjust the legs. Well, I just thought, you know, it was just a funky thing to have. I could always weigh things. Well, I haven't got the dish to put on top of it, so weighing things is a bit awkward. No bikes to work on. No cash till Thursday. No <laughs> ability to get to the um, recycling centre at least till Thursday. Because I know... Stepdad wants me to go over during the week to help him do something that I've actually forgot. Oh yeah, that was it. He wants to do a bit more tidying it up in the workshop. Not in the main area, in the wooden lean-to, because that is an absolute shithole at the minute. We sort of threw everything out of the way from the main workshop into the wooden lean-to. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that now needs a good clean in there. <sighs> I'm actually in the mood to power up some of my old laptops, but I'm not doing that tonight. <clears throat> I've got... bloody hell! Friggin' ass! I've got really far at doing those shelves, haven't I? <laughs> Chuck in some PC cables back in that drawer. I've got this lot to do. Oh, I just haven't felt motivated today, that's all. Oh dear. If I could figure out how to open that, I could let, you know, open it up and we can have a look in that. Because, uh, a bit of something that old and that unique would actually be um, pretty interesting. 
because it plays double sided videotapes. It's double sided, see? <laughs> never took off. It's one of those things that just never took off at the time. <clears throat> I think um, it lasted just a matter of a few years, if I remember correctly, from uh, some thick stuff I read online. I still haven't got a can of WD-40 either, not a new can, that one's nearly empty. <clears throat> um, Yeah, I'm not going to try out that laptop tonight. There's a few things I want to get installed on it first. I can sit in here and do that tomorrow. Because it's so small, I can actually sit at my desk over there and uh, do it. That's what I like about these little laptops. Absolutely sort of perfect for um, travelling. But then again, you get tablets these days, so... It's, <laughs> it's sort of... Um, voided that technology now, hasn't it? No one wants a little netbook. Everyone wants a tablet. Which does the same, th it's basically the same thing but minus the keyboard. Because it's all touch screen. That's all it is. When the touch screen friggin' works. Right, let me turn this off again. Oh, I was watching a video from um, BigClive.com earlier. And uh, he'd been on a website called Banggood. You know, it's a bit of a dodgy name for a website, isn't it? That sells lots of uh, electrical gadgets and gizmos. You've got this little thing which is a power supply about that big. And you push in these metal plates which have, well, you can either have three... I can't remember what he said now. Three... Well, they come in different lengths anyway, and they're all LEDs, and you can um, could use them to change, like, a light fitting like this one, the old D-tube. <clears throat> but I don't think one of those would be bright enough to light the whole room. If I convert one of these lights to those LEDs, I would need at least another two of those to light this lounge up. I know disadvantages here, I can't get into the attic to add lights. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's why I've added lights, like, up on the wall there, because that's the, pretty much the only option I've got. You know, unless I chose to run a piece of uh, trunking to hide the cable in across the ceiling, and you know, that's just going to look horrible. <clears throat> You know, at least the cable I used for those spotlights is white, and the only bit that's really noticeable is just there on the wall. <clears throat> no, you probably wouldn't notice at first that there's a cable running down there. White paintwork, white clips, white cable, that's why I did it. <clears throat> oh well. That's the deceased CD drive. Like I said, it powers up, it just doesn't, um, read the discs. December 2005, that was when that was manufactured. Teak, or TAC. Now, I've actually noticed most of the CD drives I've got in here, <laughs> that's a Sony, but a lot of them are, well, there's, I think the rest of them are Matt Shitter. And I am not kidding, that is the name, if you pronounce it literally. But being an um, oriental name, you probably actually pronounce it something like Machita. But the, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Does it actually say it on this anywhere? Uh, September 2004. Oh, that one's got Panasonic written on it. I'm sure that came up on the um, laptop as a match, match sheeter one. And December, oh, this one's even older, 2001. 
DVD, CDR, W drive. There's no, I haven't got a DVD burner in these. They're all DVD CDRWs. That's not a problem because I won't burn DVDs on a laptop anyway. Matsushita, there we go. That's right. In there, I don't know if you can read it. That's right, where my thumb is, right above my thumb. I was trying to get into a better light. There it is. Matsushita. <laughs> what a name. What a freaking name. <sighs> they all work. I did test them. While I had the um, caddy over there apart, I tested them all to make sure they um, worked and powered up. And I don't understand it with this. See, it's got the external DC jack there, but it works just by plugging in the USB cable anyway, so, you know. I mean, I didn't have to have a separate power supply. It works from the USB, so I don't know why it's got that extra DC jack on there. Oh, well. Like I said, it's not pretty, but it does work. And it's better than the one I had before, because the one I had before didn't work. <laughs> it's the one I've just thrown in the bin. I think I threw it in the bin, didn't I? Did I throw it in the bin? No, I just stuck it on here. What brand is this one? Does it say? <laughs> Musashino, Tokyo, Japan. Oh, oh yeah, it's a T, isn't it? Or a T -ac, however you pronounce it. Yeah, but that bezel is actually screwed to the front there, and like I said, look. I think that eject button's in the wrong place. Although, I haven't said that. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's way off on that one. I know they're, it's all, why are they all in slightly different positions. <sighs> Might actually um, just keep hold of that and take that off. Just in case. Right. What did I do with it? Did I take it through there or did I leave it in here? What was that? There's lots of uh, laptop covers and whatnot in here. What have we got? I've got another one that won't fit. That won't fit the actual enclosure. Ah, there's more down there. Look at that for some old RAM. I don't even have a PC to put that stuff in. I think that's why I've thrown it in here. There's another one. Oh, oh, that's completely flat. That's a very big possibility, that one. Got another one there, another one there. They probably won't match any future laptops, but I still think they're, they were handy to keep hold of. Any more in there? There we go. What's this? Oh, yeah, I come out of a weird laptop, a bit of weird memory. That's the one I want. Let's go see if I can just pop that on there because it's near enough completely flat, like that one. What do I do with it? Here it is. Shall we just uh, quickly see? going to fit because it's got to fit inside the caddy as well. It would if I could get this end on. Or not. <laughs> uh, why wouldn't that fit? I don't know, I'll have a sort of going on. I'll have a fiddle with it later. Might pop the enclosure open again. Anyway, that is it for this video, so... Sorry, I'm not doing a lot at the minute. Um... Because I haven't got anything. Oh, I forgot to ask Mum if Biggle's got any more laptops today. He said yesterday he had two more to pick up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like my video if you like it of course if you don't then dislike it <laughs>
that's why you've got a choice, you know. I know, I know there's some YouTubers out there that get the arse ache when people dislike their videos, but everyone's entitled to an opinion. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.